lungs here on Kiwi. It's 15 minutes past seven now. Spider Hunter from ehpfitness.com. He knows a bit about fitness. He knows a bit about fitness. All right, and he's not talking to us from Christchurch today. He's talking to us from the tropical climes of uh, the Golden Coast in Australia. Spider Hunter, good morning. Good morning, where am I? G'day, mate. G'day. Oh, g'day, mate. Good. <laughs> we're, of course, it's uh, oh, fully sick. Uh, two hours <laughs> behind uh, us here, so it's very early there. Yeah. Um, aren't you meant to be on holiday or something? Mate, I've, I've had my holiday. I've had about a week in it, but I was doing nothing. I'm a little bit over it now. So over it? I got. I heard the introduction and the music, and I got out my dancing shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I hear that you have been involved in something called a strongman competition over there. Yeah, the original thing that I come over here was to help a train a mate of mine, um, Steve of Taurus Training, to uh, get into uh, help his clients with a strongman competition. Mm-hmm. And, and stuff, so I was brought over as a special guest for it. Right, and and would, were you? What what was your involvement there to help out? Just to coach them and yep. uh, help them along because they did a six week course, and then they had to uh, have a testing day. And I come over for the testing day and uh, coach them through the day. And I was stuck out in the heat. It was it was terrible. And what's what kind of things were they doing in the competition? These ones, they were doing um, tyre flips, so they'd lift a tyre that probably weighed around um, nothing crazy, maybe around between 60 to 80 kgs, maybe. Wow. Um, and then they had um, a truck push, so they had to push a truck a certain distance, they had to throw a keg, um, they had to pull a tyre with a rope that was around about 25 metres long. <laughs> um, what else did they have? Then they had to drag the tyre as well, which was... Uh, that was a hard event. I had to compete myself, so it was a, it was a long day. Well, morning. Oh, you competed? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, just we just uh, me and my trainer mate we competed against each other. Yeah, yeah. As boys do. How, how did you do? I, I I had to let him win. I couldn't show him show him up in front of his clients. Right. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was cool fun. It was real cool. Um, like it was just we were just competing with his clients just for a bit of fun and stuff. But no, it was real cool. I I really enjoyed it. Mm. It was hot though that day. Like it was ten o'clock. I think we finished and it was it was it was stinking hot. It was great. And and uh, apart from that, have you been doing a bit of uh, training over there as well? You've been training um, Australians. Well, yeah, I've been trained. I've trained a few of his clients. Like I went back about three four days later and then uh, trained a different lot of his clients and. Took them through some training and uh, hopped in the boxing ring and had a sparring session with um, one. So it was. Because uh, you're brave. <laughs> yeah. Get, get in got, the boxing ring with an Australian. I got more touched up from my uh, <laughs> trainer mate than I did his client. <laughs> <laughs> it was good fun, actually. I hadn't been in the ring for a long time, so I was gassing very quickly. What have you noticed uh, is the difference between Australians and New Zealanders when it comes to uh, fitness, you know, and attitude towards fitness, if any difference? Um, <clears throat> uh, to be honest, because he's a private, he's like myself, a private, private trainer. So the crew that I met of his client were um, no different to any person in New Zealand that goes to, you know, a majority goes to a personal trainer yeah um, they have a level of commitment that's a little bit higher because they're paying out of their pocket and um, they have a desire to succeed a little bit more they are a little bit um, from my own personal observation a little bit more um, probably committed because they have to drive longer you know everywhere is only just down the road here but just down the road is you know 20 minutes away mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that respect um, they're a little bit more committed and um, but they're a lot more busier if that you know, like a lot busier to actually do certain things like nutrition is a little bit harder because they're so busy. Um, uh, like it's a little, it's probably well, it is quicker than Auckland, Brisbane. So, um, gosh, it's yeah. really interesting to say you're the, 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 the busier, really. Oh, just the pace of the place, you know. I mean, for you in Auckland, it's probably a little bit you know, standard issue that you've got to travel and all the rest of it, but I'm making comparisons probably more so with Christchurch. Christchurch. Yeah, yeah. And that, I would probably, uh, Brisbane is busier than Auckland, I would say. It's nowhere near as busy as Sydney. Yeah. But this, that whole mindset alone creates, uh, you know, that busyness, as you know, just creates everything's on the go all the time. So does that mean people have less time to fit in 
fit in their fitness goals? I think um, that would be the perception is that they're too busy to fit it in. Um, from like from observation in the street, depending where you go, mm. Aussies look bigger. Um, but that's depending where you go, because if you go to the Gold Coast, everyone's trimmed up there. You mean bigger as in as in more as in fatter or just fatter? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So, because um, cause didn't we come out um, ahead of Australia in some crazy statistics recently about obesity? <laughs> yeah, World Health Organization claims yeah. us to be bigger again. I don't know how they yeah. come with those yeah. um, statistics. Even I don't even know if that, how true that is, but they're saying that we're uh, bigger, yeah. ranking ahead of Australians. Who knows, eh? Yeah, who bloody, I don't know, mate. But from <laughs> observation, it depends where you go, really, because if you go into a low, lower socioeconomic area mm. in Australia or Brisbane, then you find people that are bigger. Yeah. And um, at one part, they were staying in that particular area in, in Red Bank, and um, yeah, man, people were huge. Like, huge, huge. So, so okay, so when it comes down to, to having time for fitness, perhaps people are a little bit busier there, but um, what about when, it, when they actually are uh, getting involved? Are you noticing any different attitudes to actually tackling fitness itself? Um, well, because we're like, um, my mate Steve, he runs all sorts of programs, and um, uh, because he's in the, in the just outside of the central city of Brisbane, mm. he was... Uh, so a lot of his clients are um, sitting behind the desk mostly now. So um, they're, you know, it's, it's relatively the same, really. Like, they're pretty much keen to, you know, if you're in your mid-40s or something, you're keen to reclaim some health back and mm. you're clean to, uh, keen to make some stuff happen. So they tend to get in there and get their hands dirty. Like, he had um, a female doing a strongman comp, strong woman comp, and, um, man, she was a go-getter. She did everything that the boys did. Mm with a bit of help but still she just got in there and got amongst it and then um, so I was really impressed actually that she got in there and got amongst it with the same weight too she was having to pull the, or push the same weight which was uh, quite impressive mm. actually took longer for her but she still got in there and got her hands dirty which was excellent to see well it sounds like you're quite taken with the place are you coming back at all? Uh, yeah I have to come back and get my boy <laughs> right that's a probably a pretty good reason yeah, yeah. yeah no, nah, it will be coming back. It has been extended. The trip was only meant to be a seven-day trip, as you know. So it's now turned into a three-week trip. Exa- exactly. Well, Spider, nice to catch up with you while you're in the Gold Coast. My pleasure, <coughs> well, I Thank you. And um, and of course, people can go and check out uh, your um, your website. There's a whole lot of information there. Uh, particularly your writings and musings throughout the week. EHPFitness.com and find you on Twitter as well. Have you up on Twitter uh, at Spider Hunter on Twitter. S P I D A Hunter, one word. Cheers, Spider. We'll talk to you next time. Cheers, brother. Thank you.